Hello. How are you? Monday the 16th of May. Here we are again for our weekly musings. I hope you're keeping well um, and I hope you're staying dry. It has got very wet although it seems to be brightening up just now which is great. After a lovely weekend um, it's a bit of a shock to see that rain this morning but I suppose the gardens will thank us for it won't they? Um, just looking out the window now I can see that it is getting a bit brighter so hopefully the rest of your month will not be so so damp so how's life how are you how has your week been earlier this morning um in the early hours about 5 a.m this morning there was the total lunar eclipse that we have been talking about for the last couple of weeks and that blood moon as it's often known or called it was a full moon in scorpio um and that has caused us to shed a lot of um old limiting beliefs to close that eclipse doorway that we have been talking about for the last few weeks and the intense cosmic energy should now start to subside a little. We still have lots going on, there's always stuff going on cosmically, but it should allow things to settle down a little bit for you. So you should start to feel perhaps a little bit more settled and to allow the inner strength to start to rise up from within you. But you may not feel that just straight away. We're still in this sort of post shadow now of the eclipse period so give yourself time give yourself permission to integrate that energy okay hopefully you will have um, experienced some changes over the last four weeks good or bad depending on your perspective trust that everything is happening for a reason I've spoken to a few people over the last couple of weeks who've had some quite difficult changes come in and they're, they're struggling to integrate them. This is the period now to allow them to settle down, to look at the bigger picture, to see that perhaps things have disappeared from your life. Maybe relationships have broken down, maybe things have changed because you need to own your worth and to step into your own power and your value and that these things maybe weren't serving you. Likewise as well, perhaps you've been using the time over the last couple of weeks to put some really good positive um plans in place and to really you know you've cleared out the clutter you've cleared out the things that we were talking about over the last four to six weeks that you've been doing the work and as such then maybe the eclipse has come as a massive now just relief and a push forward now for you so everybody will be experiencing this differently i would urge you greatly to go and check out elizabethperu.com um, where she gives lots of helpful advice and a daily tip off if you subscribe to her um her products you'll be able to see all the information that you need on this and it's definitely worth doing it's really worth doing so maybe you've been challenged to let go of old patterns maybe things have changed you've been pushed to your limits i want you to take these next two weeks now just to integrate okay to recalibrate and to start to take the steps towards the new and empowered and more positive lifestyle that you want to create for yourself you are the artist of your life only you can design it the way you want to nobody else's responsibility only yours and that's challenging and we've talked about this numerous times where we have to take responsibility for our lives and the actions that we take and our thoughts and our beliefs and everything so it's up to us we can we can send the blame out left right and center to other people but that's not really going to serve us in any way and that energy will always come back to you so this is about stepping into that power now taking forward your positivity taking forward gratitude and leaning into the lessons that you've learned over the last three or four weeks so this week i am using cards from the very lovely starseed oracle deck starseed oracle um, by the lovely rebecca campbell with artwork by danielle noel very very lovely cards as always and i hope you will appreciate the lovely message that comes up today it's quite a nice positive uplifting message today and I, I really like it so the first card that has come up is the weight card okay so for anyone listening um on the pod once it goes you'll not obviously be able to see the image but it um if you look at the thumbnail image of the the podcast you should get um, an image of the three cards that we're talking about so this image today um this card weight it is not yet time things are being woven so it depicts a woman floating in space in a cosmic soup um 
Well, it's almost like she's stirring a big cosmic cauldron here. Um, and this card just asks you to pause, to take a moment, to take a breath, take a beat, okay? And it makes perfect sense after this intense period we've just been through cosmically. You need to allow time to integrate the energetic changes that come in. So some people will be feeling really fired up and ready to just step ahead and other people might be feeling quite tired and pulled back. And you've got to listen to your body and honour the need to take time if you need to. It's also a card that reminds us that if you've been asking for guidance on something and you feel you're not getting it or you're not getting any answers, um, I sometimes joke and say my spirit guides have all just gone to the pub and left me behind. They're like, not talking to her today. Just uh, And they've maybe been there for a while. So if you're feeling that same sort of vibe that your guidance isn't coming through, that you're not getting the answers to the questions that you're asking, then that is guidance in itself. It's guidance to wait, to pause, to stop. It's not quite time yet to do what it is you're, you're considering. Things are still being woven and put in place. So if you can't get clear guidance on whether to move forward, then the message is to wait, okay? Um, and trust the process. It's quite difficult for us to wait because in our society we have instant gratification and you know, things are just always so fast paced and moving and you feel you always have to be on the go. So to stop and pause and wait sometimes feels very counterintuitive. But give yourself that gift of slowing down, of simplifying, of waiting and trusting the process, trusting that everything is unfolding as it's meant to and that whilst you may not be able to see the bigger picture right now, it will become clear soon. Okay. So lean into those the lessons, integrate the energy and just wait, okay? Pause and wait. Second card that's come up is your life is a canvas, okay? And it's about you creating the life that you want to create. You are the artist of your own life, okay? Take responsibility for your ability to create the life that you have, you know, your life is the canvas. So what are you painting? What are you creating? The present moment that you find yourself in right now is as a result of the, your past thoughts and beliefs and actions. Um, it's nobody else's fault. Um, likewise, it's nobody else's um, reward. If you're living your best life, it's yours. It's ultimately all yours, okay? So as I said earlier, if you've been doing the work over the last few weeks with the eclipse and running in with the eclipse energy and harnessing it and working with the seasons rather than against them, you may find yourself in a really decent position right now. Likewise as well, maybe things aren't just going your way and that's okay too. But we have to take responsibility for where we are and not put the blame on other people. We are powerful manifestors. We have everything at our disposal to create the life that we want. But often we focus on the things that are going wrong or the things that we don't want. So I want you to shift your focus again, come back to centre and focus on the blessings, focus on the good things, because we shape our reality by our perspective. OK, so what, how are you viewing your life? How are you seeing your life? Your thoughts and your words matter. They matter so much. OK, um, something that you need to catch you catch yourself and this is where maybe a daily practice of mindfulness or meditation comes in handy because you start to notice the thoughts that you're saying all the time. You start to notice the things that you're thinking. You start to listen to that inner dialogue and you can shift it and change it if it's not going in the direction you want it to. Um, I have found myself over this last few days saying I'm tired all the time. Now, yes, physically I am because I've just spent all of last week most of last week, um, you know, doing a lot of voluntary ambulance work for covering the Northwest 200. And it was amazing. It was brilliant. I had such a good time. It was really, really good crack and brilliant, brilliant atmosphere up there. And yes, physically, I am tired. But if I keep saying the words, I am tired or I am busy or I am sore, then that's all you get. And you start to focus on that. So what I'm saying is, by all means, yes, acknowledge where you are. Meet yourself where you're at. But choose your words more carefully. Choose your thoughts. Where are you placing your focus? Okay. And when you shift it, then you start to brighten up and you start to change. 
It's about really reconnecting with your manifesting power and aligning your thoughts and your actions and your feelings with a vibration of love and creativity. Really opening up that heart rather than keeping it all closed in. You know, um, that's where our strength lies in our heart. And with daily consistent actions and thoughts and being responsible for the energy we're emitting, then we'll start to reap those rewards in due course. And some people say, well, I don't know what I want to create. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I don't really know what I want. Well, that's OK. Start with gratitude then. Just start to notice all the abundance and the blessings and the good things in your life. And naturally, more will come. And then naturally, that will open up your creativity. So start with an attitude of gratitude. So the card invites you to see your life as a canvas. And what you put on that canvas is entirely up to you. OK. So are you intuitively designing the life that you want? Or are you sitting in the passenger seat letting other people paint all over your canvas and drive your car? It's not good, okay? So you're the artist. You can pick up whichever color you want and paint your canvas with it. So what are you painting? Final card today then is the Whale and Orca Elders card, okay? Coming from our oceans, these deep benevolent beings are there to keep the balance on Earth. They do so much more than we than we're aware of. They maintain frequency and a vibration in our oceans of love and harmony, and they actually have an impact on the magnetic field as well. So they do an awful lot more than what we actually are aware of um, as human beings. And they're also here to remind us to sing our own song i don't know if you've ever heard whale song um there's a, a lovely etheric quality to it whenever you listen to it um and if you've ever been blessed enough i haven't but i hope to change that someday if you've ever been blessed enough to look deeply into the eyes of a, a whale or a, you know a large sea creature they look straight into your soul and you'll never forget that you'll be changed because they, they see past your suffering and your wounding and your identity and your personality and all the layers of the stuff that we put on ourselves. They see past that and they see right into your soul. <clears throat> and when they see into your soul, they ask you and they invite you and they challenge you to see your soul for itself and to see your deepest truth. To really bow to who you actually are. To shed all that all that stuff, all the layers of stories and all the stuff to shed all that. Leave your fears and doubts behind and dive deeply into your soul and remember who you are, remember your power, remember your creative potential, remember your divinity. Stretch your heart wide open. So another message to stretch that heart wide open again. Sing the song your soul came here to sing. Allow that song to emanate in all directions. Stand up and be the person that you came here to be. So it ties really nicely into that card about your life being a canvas. And your life, um, you being the artist of your life. Because if you're standing up to sing the song that you came here to sing, you're looking deeply in and facing your own truth and your own soul's beauty then you will create your beautiful canvas and you will naturally know as well when it's time to wait and when it's time to act because you'll be following your deep inner guidance and you'll not be looking outside of yourself for answers. So it also asks you just before I forget, it asks you as well to recognise that soul level beauty in other people because when we start to recognise that light in other people, then we start to have more compassion. And that in itself is a ripple of beautiful vibration that we want to put out into the world. And that will change the world if we if we start to recognise each other's divinity. So it's a really beautiful message this week. So wait, pause, recalibrate, integrate the energy of the last four weeks. You know, allow your creative visions to rise up within you. And become the artist of your own life. Be accountable, be responsible for your creations and for the energy you're putting out into the world. And to... Dive deep past all your fears and limiting beliefs and face your own truth and sing the song that you came here to sing and to recognise the beauty and the divinity in other people. 
So I hope these cards have resonated with you this week. Um, if you're struggling right now to find your way, just please trust that the path will open up and that the guidance is there. Just give yourself permission to rest and recharge if you feel you need it. Likewise, if you're feeling fired up and ready to act and you have that deep inner strength coming up, then go for it. Take those steps now and start acting um, on the plans that you've put in place over the last four to five weeks and just open your heart and lean into your own unique power. So let me know as always if it resonates with you. The blog post will be um, available shortly. You'll see it posted on the socials. Um, this will be replayed on YouTube shortly and will also be available as a pod. So keep in touch with me. Let me know how you go. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and that you start to really reap the benefits of this fantastically intense cosmic period that has just closed today with the eclipse this morning. So I'll speak to you all again next week and as always have a wonderful week.